Serbia in white serving. And it's Brazil in yellow receiving this, the first semi-final from the FIBB World Grand Prix Finals here in Nanjing. Brazil are the reigning champions of this event. But at one point, we're looking like they were heading home early. They do find themselves now in this semi-final and a chance to make it into the final, a chance to try and recapture the crown that they won last year in Bangkok. But they are going to have to deal with some heavy-hitting Serbian players like Boscovic and Mihailovic, and Boscovic showing exactly what she can bring to the party. And now Mihailovic is likely to show what she can do from the serving line with her jump serving. One of the hardest hitters of a ball from the serving line you're likely to see. And even with it being slowed down by the net, still difficult, and that's an unforced error, Tandara. With that error, Serbia up 2-1 already. Brazil was soundly beaten by China in their opening game, 3-0. Then they just squeaked by the Netherlands, 3-2, leaving them with two points in the group, and it all came down to their last game between China and the Netherlands. Any win for China would send them through as top along with Brazil. Even a 3-2 big defeat for China would send them through top. But a 3-2 victory or any other victory for the Netherlands would send Brazil home. It was a match that went to five sets. And dare I say it, but the Netherlands at one point were 14-10 up. Losing 18-16 in the end. You wouldn't believe it. You'd have to go and see it. Boscovic with the block, Serbia with the point. Boscovic along with uh, captain Milena Rasic play their volleyball in Turkey. Rasic for Vakif Bank and Boscovic for Exashabashi. That's just phenomenal. And that's another thing that is going to be an issue for Brazil if they're not careful. Velikovic, who plays in Poland for uh, Chemik Police, who won the domestic league last season, battering that one through the middle. Good up from Mihailovic. Mihailovic plays her volleyball here in China. Nice play. And it's going to be a point for Brazil. Roberta making the dig a rather late block. And not strong enough by Velikovic against Anna Beatriz. Rosa Maria now back to serve for Brazil. Brilliant swing. Brazil were closing the line, but that didn't stop Boscovic from hammering it cross court. Marta believes 20 years of age, still the best years of a volleyball ahead of her. Good serve. Good reply from Brazil with Tandara through the middle. Excellent use from Natalia. She knows she's going to be up against a big block in this match and knows she's going to have to hit smart. And that's exactly what we saw with that last play.
point for Brazil, levelling, in fact now moving in front. Now many people have been speculating on the outcome of this game leading up to it. Can Brazil get past Serbia? You'd have to say, looking at the players that Serbia have individually, better than the players that Brazil have individually. The problem Serbia have at times is that inability to come together as a team. Something that isn't an issue for Brazil. They will fight to the very end. And Serbia will have to do the same. They have to play as a team if they are going to get past this very tenacious Brazilian side. Tandar again using the block. swing from Serbia to level things up. Good work by Tandara covering, linking in. That wasn't a ball meant for her and an error from Rasic. Sends Brazil into the technical timeout with a one point lead. It's a nice swing from Mihailovic. Good peripheral vision these players need at this level to be able to realise that they've got the ball in front of them. Then there's the block. If you're only fixed on the ball and you can't see the, the block in front of you, you're going to struggle. You need to know where that block is. You need to know peripherally where the block is, where the gaps are. trying to avoid the block but she was quite square onto the net and then hitting across her body and losing the height so Brazil now up by two Carroll back to serve Brazil now up by three Serbia making the change and bringing in Bianca Busha through the outside. Namiasevic being given the hook. Another good swing from Boscovic. It's the 
shape in which she takes her makes it difficult to put the ball down if she hits for the last third of court. Well, that would be a carry against Roberta. Roberta's back row. So she couldn't. She could have left it. May well have got something from it. Mihailovic again. Trying a little bit too hard with that one. Difference between reaching up, sending your shoulder up and arm up into the ball, and setting your shoulder forward and arm forward. On that occasion, it looked as if Mihailovic just threw herself forwards. Not getting a good contact on the ball as a result. And that was unlucky. Good reactions by Roberta and Sue Allen. But it's Serbia who have the side out. Rashic to the serving line. Just about got something on it. Sclaffing it over. Dara's cut away from the body was also a contact on the ball that was around about nine o'clock if you used to make it a clock face and spinning it that then as a result anti-clockwise and spinning it away from the sideline. That's a very good block. Boskovic and Velikovic both sealing a nice tight block and a Hands across before the spiker had hit the ball. Noticeable with that net cam replay. Oh, what a set that is. Great play. You've got to love that set from Roberta. A negative set behind the ball had been passed in by Tandara to her. And then she's put up that beauty. Nice swing as well from Anna Patrice. First tip from Boscovic. The defenders from Brazil expecting the ball to be hit. The hands goes up. Not overly early, actually. Quite tricky that one, isn't it, to work out? But the hand did go up. And that's when Sue Allen needs to think, right, got to change my defensive posture. And an ace serve from Boscovic. Right in between Tandara and Sue Ellen. It looked to be going across Tandara into Sue Ellen. Got to decide really early who's going to take that. Boscovic once again. Serbia now up by two. Roberta off and running. Chance here for Serbia to get three in front. Boscovic. Oh, good up from Rosa Maria. Sandara, desperate effort. Oh, brilliant play from Brazil. Fans enjoying that one. Now Boscovic has wrapped it off the block and away. An excellent rally. Brazil fighting hard, but Serbia take the point and lead by three at the second technical timeout. That's a great play. Good touch, Sue Ellen. Ben Tandara and Sue Ellen can carrying on and bringing it back in. the mascot here, Peng Peng, for the SFIVB World Grand Prix. Entertaining the fans in between timeouts and so on. Oh. 
Moskovic deciding to go with the jump serve off the back of a long timeout. And that's why it's an ace serve. Now Boscovitz is most definitely in the zone and fully focused. No other thought on her mind. She's got her rhythm, her timing's excellent. And there's going to be a change of personnel. Tandara and Roberta go out. Macris comes in to set and Monique comes in in the opposite slot. So the setter's now in, in the back row and there are three front court options. So a better opportunity potentially for Brazil to get a side out off of this big serve. And Natalia has done exactly that. Now Amanda's going to come in and serve for Anna Beatriz. Serbia. Excellent dig by Boscovic, but ooh, that'll be a double against Mihailovic. Her feet were parallel and her knees were bent, and then she kind of did what could only be described as a bit of a, a fish move. The limbo up under the ball. Very nice, very nice. It's an A-quick, Serbia quite happy to run the A-quicks. Instead of running the slide behind, Natalia was in trouble trying to go with the front court setter. Couldn't then help out. Busha now back to serve. Well, a classic example, Boscovic is left-handed. So she goes after this with her left hand. Maybe the right hand would have been better. It would have gone back towards it, been towards where everyone was going instead of half a touch off of the left hand. Double substitution reverse. Tandara back into the front row. Roberta will be serving. Block from Natalia Mihailovic. Double bluffing herself. She knows when it's one on one that the player will go and jump into the cross, but she didn't. Natalia just held the line. That's an excellent block. Roberta will serve again. Brazil just one behind. And this time, Mihailovic just goes high hands harder. The last one, she tried to put it inside the three-metre line. Velikovic. <laughs> nice serve, making it difficult for Natalia, who's front court. And again, Mihailovic, three blockers, but this time she's hit steep. First time she hit steep, she got blocked. Second time, off the hands, block out. That time, she's cut it right into the meat of the block. Either a block out or a the deep hit, really. A shot to... to put some really any conviction in that. Didn't look like it. Yeah, she has to make the pass. Not a bad effort. Boscovic makes it look so easy. Well, if Mihailovic isn't quite firing, the one thing's for sure, Boscovic is. Just a little change, Natalia's coming out. And see, when has gone in for her, Amanda staying in to pass. And it just takes away the pressure Natalia was, was getting. That's off the hands and away from Boscovic. Another point for Serbia. And Brazil called timeout. Well, 
Well, both teams are scoring points from the serving line. So both capable. Timeout works. Amanda's job is done. So Anna Beatrice comes in to the front row. Natalia comes back on in the back row. And it will be Carol with the serve. Tidy side out from Mihailovic. Oh, huge block from Boschkovic. One on one, Rosa Maria. It's lights out. A monster block from Serbia. Serbia's block doing a really good job of slowing it down. Oh, how did Boschkovic find a way through? Three blockers all over her. Just squeaked it between Rosa Maria and Anna Beatriz. It's now set point, Serbia. for Serbia. Well left. The Tandara for Brazil. Nice up from Tandara. And the eight quick in transition, Rashic puts it down, Serbia take the opening set, 25-20, leading 1-0 in the semi-final of the FIBB World Grand Prix Finals. Well, Tandara was still moving, that was an opportunity wasted. Confirmation of the score, 25-20, Serbia doing a good job with team effort. Boscovic by far leading like 12 points for her in that set. Three from Velikovic, two from Mihailovic, two from Rasic. Here are the highlights.
Well, I hope you're enjoying the volleyball wherever you might be watching from. And if you're watching in Europe, it's still in the morning, so maybe you're tucked up in bed and enjoying breakfast in bed. We're watching this one here, are the stats from the match. 12 attack points from uh, 17 attack points from Serbia. Boscovic has scored 12 points so far for the team. And the errors you can see, those aren't those seven errors are. Uh, but if Serbia made them, yeah, that would make sense. Serbia actually making seven errors, Brazil only making three. So if Serbia cut down their errors, they'd be out of sight of Brazil. Indeed, in fact, yeah, seven errors. It's a, there's a big screen here in these um, arena, and the, the opponent's errors, it says opponent's errors. And Brazil made four errors, according to the big screen. And, Serbia made seven. Second set about to get underway, and the only change is that uh, Bush is staying on court for Serbia. Adenazia is in for Brazil in the middle. Guimara is still unsure as to which combination is the one that will be working for him. Anna Beatrice is in. Carroll will be on the bench. Away we go with the second set. Roberta to serve. Rashic on the slide. Good work by Sue Ellen. And that's a well worked point for Brazil. And it just shows how hard they're going to have to work potentially to get their points. But as any good coach will tell you, if that's what's required, that's what you've got to do. Once, twice, three, four, five times, doesn't matter. You keep going till you get the point. Don't expect the other team to give it to you. Everyone thought the big hit was coming as Mihailovic wound up to have a swing. Roberta quite deep at one and not able then to get there quickly enough to get a hand under the ball. <laughs> Overpass dealt with nicely. Bush's serve is a good one. And it's not block out for Natalia, that one lands in. And again, more woes for Natalia on that right side of court. It's an excellent block. But then Azia finds a way through. Natalia will serve. Well, unfortunately, you can <laughs> completely have sympathy for the first referee. Although there'll be none from Grimaris. You can bet your bottoms on it. He makes plenty of mistakes as a coach, far more than the referees do. Certainly, his team does. Call, was going to call for a double touch, but you can't call for a double touch on the first serve. You can only call for a carry, and it wasn't a carry, but it was a horrible contact, wasn't it? <laughs> All is forgotten now, that's for sure, as Brazil have the point from service. Those of you that watched the game between Brazil and the Netherlands will have noticed that Natalia is serving. She has a very long pre-serve routine, and at one point it did get up to about 
11, even 12 seconds. And then there is a challenge coming. But uh, I know that uh, she has been spoken to prior to this match to say if it happens again and it continues, or, then you will be penalised for it. You're only allowed eight seconds from the whistle's ref from the referee's whistle to begin serving. Interesting challenge decision. <laughs> Definitely rash it up early. Any aspiring middle blockers watching. You can learn a lot from Milena Rasic. She's up in the air so quickly, isn't she? And that ball is perfect. She's up before the blockers. Been able to hit it very hard. Now, another player who can hit it very hard, Mihailovic. But also a player that does seem to get a few miss hits on her jump serves. Not like when Boscovic serves. Boscovic puts all her weight right through the ball as she did with that attack. Oh dear, Boucher was stood watching and not covering. That ball's travelled across the court. Watch Boucher, she's just stood, she's off, thinking maybe she's going to get a hit. What's she thinking? Only she knows, but she wasn't covering. Malikovic comes in. It's Rashic to serve. Tandara with a similar pre-serve routine to Natalia. Oh, brilliant from Sue Ellen. There is a challenge coming from Serbia, mid-rally, as to whether or not Natalia had towed the line. And it's good to see that Zoran Terzic has learned his lesson from the previous matches where last game he just got up through a bit of a wobbly at the referee mid-rally. This time he stayed calm, he's told his assistant, challenge. No panic, no getting in the referee's face and no getting himself a yellow card either. Oh, that was close, wasn't it? Is it on? No, it's not. And now... Uh, He's getting out of his seat because he can't believe his eyes. No. No challenges left for Serbia. Brazil will serve again. side out straight away. Oh, massive swing from Boscovic. But somehow it becomes free ball for Brazil and they take it. Would you believe it? Boscovic can't believe it herself. And into the technical timer, it's Brazil with the lead.
Just to recap on that mid-rally challenge that Serbia had that was unsuccessful. The ball going back and going to Brazil to serve. Serbia lost a point for that. There is no let play. If you call a challenge mid-rally, regardless of whether you were serving or the other team was serving, you lose the point if you're unsuccessful. If you're successful, then it would be a let. Or it would be uh, a point for you. Actually, it would just be a point for you, wouldn't it? Because there was a fault, so... Got to clear that up. And Mihailovic clearing that point up. Skittling Sue Ellen. Boucher back to serve. Well left by Rosa Maria. Brazil giving a good account of themselves. It is Tandara and Natalia doing most of the work. A huge block for Adenizia, justifying her inclusion now in the team. Brazil is screaming out, out, out. Well, particularly the assistant coach, Rashic, thinks it might be in, and we're going to have a chance. I think, actually, the ref, and brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Well done, first referee. He's decided, you know what? No one's sure, so I'm going to call the challenge. Excellent refereeing. More than, more than allowed to do that, the referee can make a challenge and just check, uh, just check whether the ball is in out, check the, what the outcome is exactly. And it's caught the line, so it's in. Despite the assistant coach screaming for it to be out. Superb refereeing, as you would expect from this level of competition. Just have to know because there was a challenge in the score system would go on the other way, it just has to be reversed. Sometimes it can be a little bit tricky. So that was the delay. And now Serbia have the board. Sivkovic with it. Brilliant, Natalia. Oh, what happened there? 
Oh my goodness, Sue Ellen, Tandara is going to play that. Sue Ellen must have gone and goes, no, I've got it. And then got out of the way at the last second, leaving Sue Ellen stranded. Oh, Gumaris is doing well to keep a straight face. Keep his cool. Serbia just one behind. Nice pokey. Three attackers available for Brazil. Tandara has got the block out. Excellent. And Brazil now two ahead. Not often Boscovic gets put down. That's a big block for Brazil. And gives them a three-point lead. What's that, Dara? Just saying to Rosemary, go on, you can smile. You made a block. Rosemary's just focused on what she needs to do. Another big swing from Serbia. That's what they're able to do, hit the ball so hard. It's constant pressure. And Brazil constantly having to defend. At the, uh, well, that's a massive foot fault from Mihailovic. Having to defend at the limits of their abilities. from Brazil and you can see what it means to them and how hard they are going to fight good leave although it's close might be worth a challenge not going to happen, though. Well, that was a nice ball from Boscovic, giving Busha a chance of a swing. That should be a double, but they're going to get away with it. Terzic is... Up and arguing again, but now he can sit down because whilst he's upset, Serbia doing exactly the right thing and playing to the whistle. If it was on their side, it wouldn't be a problem, would it? Same for every team, really. Everyone feels it's infamy. I think uh, Zoran Terzic is suffering with a case of that at the moment. Oh, brilliant from Sue Ellen. Again, defending at the very best and desperately trying to keep the ball in play. This time, though, it's too far away from Sue Ellen. And Serbia come back to within a point. And I guess you can forgive players and coaches for their protestations for the way that they behave in the heat of the moment. But, <laughs> someone did say that anything before but is not worth listening to. We still have to have a sense of professionalism about what you do and about how you're being perceived as a player and as a coach. That is a massive swing from Brazil and they head into the technical timeout leading by two. Chega 
atirando. Ela tá atirando. Ela tá atirando. Ela não tá atirando muito. Ela tá saindo de uma rapa. Porra, o plano dela. Principalmente quando ela tá parada. Pra... Ei, pra contra-atacar, ela saiu parada quase, Rosa. É chato. É a little bit tight for Busher. She does well. Getting the continuation. <laughs> Boschkovic makes sure there is no continuation. is volleyball of the highest level. Great covering by Mihailovic, has a little too far in front of Boscovic. Serbia now having to defend again. Rosa Maria gets the point. Brazil get two in front. Quite happening for Mihailovic at the moment. right off the head of Natalia, she'll feel that. Moskovic just apologising. up will it come back yes it will Boscovic's long arms make sure of that Mihailovic slightly off balance a chance here maybe Tandara can only tip everybody out of position Mihailovic ready for a swing and deals with three blockers brilliantly this time with a roll and spin to the line away from Rosa Maria and Serbia a one back Nice, and that spin is what makes the difference. With that one hand then, so difficult to bring it back into play. It just spins off like a, a snooker ball on a cushion. Dracilia has come in. Rosa Maria has gone to the bench. Oh, fantastic! Where did that come from? Natalia out of nowhere. Brazil couldn't get the ball above the height of the net. And suddenly, on the run, Roberta gets it up in the air. And Natalia, steaming in, puts it away. Amanda in to serve.
Yeah, just say Roberta might be front row. And indeed she is. But anyway, that ball, I think Brazil have got lucky. They can complain and pull up and bluster, but that ball was more than likely going to hit the floor anyway. That wasn't going to be coming back over. So Brazil have got lucky. They shouldn't be complaining. Serbia take the point. Not again. The second referee is going crazy, but uh, sorry, the second uh, coach for Brazil is going crazy. But they were going to lose that point previously. We see this ball going off the block. It was about to be kicked. It wasn't coming over. They were going to lose the point, and then they get a chance to play it again. Uh, still, the second coach behind Guimaraes is going on, and if he carries, he will get himself a card. If he carries on. <laughs> Brazil get their side out, Serbia scrambling, but unsuccessfully. Could pick up, but no one could get there quickly enough. Roberto will now serve for Brazil. <laughs> Mihailovic went a little bit too quick, had to check because the ball was higher than she expected and actually suited her well. With Nazia cutting it past Rashic. Rashic makes a dig and then Mihailovic and Busha not committing. You have to make a split second decision, don't wait for anybody else. Great pick up. And then no one going after it. Monique coming in just to serve for Odenizia. Brazil. Close to taking the set. Boskovic brings Serbia close to Brazil. Serbia call the timeout.
Not made the baseline, but it's off the block. Set point for Brazil. And you're going to have a swing for it. Italia. Oh, nobody covering deep enough. Very difficult, though, to get behind the player who's hitting the pipe. Although Sue Ellen was there and Tandara, but they're both together. They're both defending the same spot. Brazil it is who call the timeout. Boschkovich with the serve. Oh, it's a belter. Well, it's an unforced error. And so, set point served. And Boschkovich is going to go after it again. She has to, doesn't she, really? All or nothing. But not before another timeout is called by Brazil. Boschkovic served a belter to save the first set point. Can she do it again? Well, she has. There's no middle coming, high and wide. And down it goes, Amanda, for Brazil, takes the set. It's one set all here in Nanjing now in this semi-final.
So having a little look down, no aces in that last set, although there was a touch ace, wasn't there? Because Boscovich belted it off of the passer. Third set, underway. Serbia serving and gifting the first point to Brazil. Better for Mihailovic. <laughs> and a very good serve as well. A couple of times now, Serbia have put enormous amounts of pressure on Brazil, got a free ball back over and completely fluffed their lines. Adenizia. There's play there, volleyball in Brazil for Osasco which is where Tandara plays. Oh, huge block net touch by Drusilia. As the ball was dug. Anna Beatrice also plays for Osasco. The two Serbian players who are applying their trade in Brazil are Belica and uh, Tiana Meliasevic. But neither of them currently on court, but no doubt would have provided plenty of information for the coaching staff for their time in the Superliga in Brazil. <laughs> Work from Sue Ellen. Looked like a bit of a double touch behind. And you with the greatest of respect to Roberta, she's apologising. It was a dreadful set, didn't even go where it was supposed to go. But funny, there's no moaning, is there, from the coaching staff about that. So not from Brazilian team. It's a powerful weapon. Serbia are going to bring it to bear as much as they can. And it's Boscovic, who is that weapon. She has an opportunity from the serving line. No one has to give her the ball other than the ball boy or girl. No one's got to pass it to her, set it to her. It's in her hands. She can deliver what she wants to deliver. Unfortunately for her, that one not quite finding its mark. And Serbia have a, a one-point advantage. Well, they did have a one-point advantage. Wonderful serving by Brazil. Drusilia getting herself an ace serve. Drusilia plays for the Rexona. So too does Natalia and Amanda. And also Monique. Oh, done it again! The one thing we don't get to see from this side-on view is how much that ball is moving in the air. Uh, I was chatting with Steve Tutt, former uh, 
Australian Olympic coach, now working with the FIVB, who is uh, watching the game here, sat end on, saying, you would not believe how much this ball is moving in the air from the serving line, from the float servers. <laughs> so Serbia manage to get themselves back into it. a very big jump. And she brought that to bear. Getting over the top of the block, and tipping it into play. That should be a double. And indeed it is. The setters get the leniency but not the rest of the players. <laughs> Just Rashic winning that one. And now Serbia in transition, Mihailovic. Good up from Natalia. Oh, brilliant. Net touch by Serbia. Didn't take away from the fact Natalia made the dig, got out wide, opened up the cross court angle, and took it. Brazil lead by one at the technical timeout. Rolls working. Nice and deep to position one. Serving's working as well for Brazil at the moment. They are putting Serbia under pressure. That's three points they've had now from service, directly from shanked passes. And Serbia call the timeout. An example of that, that's four points now they've had after siding out. Hence the lead.
Mihailovic unsure, but getting the call from the teammates. Shows you how hard Boschkovic hit that ball. Dug at position five by Dracilia. Carried out over the other side of the net at position four. It was a wonderful set from Roberta. It fooled everybody, almost Natalia, but it was just a little bit too tight to the net. If it wasn't, Natalia would have been taking that one to Spike Town. <laughs> Boucher really struggling with the pass at the moment. Will Terzic take her out and replace her? have uh, Malisevic and Malenkovic available They're challenging this ball in out <laughs> not even close Mihailovic will go back and serve as Rashic gets a cheeky point for her team. Ah! Ah! Benazia saying she didn't touch the net but it wasn't called against her. It's funny, isn't it, how players just go immediately straight in the referees' faces at times, complaining, no, it wasn't me, it wasn't me. Well, no, it wasn't you, it was your teammate. Have a look round first, find out what the story is. Mihailovic, once more. Good ball in from Sue Ellen. And straight away, Adenazia gets a ball on a plate that she can dispatch. Up before Razic, over the top of Boschkovic, lovely. Worth a round of applause. Just had a quick glimpse of the spike height from Adenizia. 2 metres 93 on a net, that's 2.24. Boschkovic again, only the second time she's put, put down in the game on a ball, which was a little bit low, a little bit inside. But Brazil now lead by four. from Tandara. Could only tip it, but she's pushed it deep. And Mihailovic didn't commit to that at all. Unsurprisingly, Boucher is going to be the serving target for the rest of this game. And that means there's pressure on Serbia. Boscovic releasing some of that with the side out. Rashic will go back to serve. Net touch against Serbia. Technical timeouts. And Brazil are in control of this third set.
。首先，让我们把手先放下来，让我们从左到右，一会儿跟着我们手的方向，把手举起来，做一次非常的好。Problems for Serbia, and it's not often you'd see Brazil give up a lead of this size. So it's a setting change for Serbia. Busha staying in. It's a very nice introduction for Antonijevic, finding the middle from her knees. Boschkovic. Brazil will be delighted with that to get off of that rotation without giving away any points, keeping a six-point margin now. Cilia back to serve. <laughs> this set is going to Brazil, isn't it? Serbia have just gone to sleep. There's nothing happening on that side of the net. More changes. Velikovic goes out, and in comes Jovana Stevanovic. a sign that Bushja isn't playing well to be spotted by the head coach. Not sure what is. Thank you. Bushja, 1994, certainly a youngster. This is a good experience for her to play her way out of trouble if she can. It's not helping the team at the moment though. She gets put down again. Stefanovic not having to uh, have a swing as Antonijevic puts it down on two. Everybody was running that way. Nice up from Boucher. The speed of the pipe from Brazil is exceptional, isn't it? Coming in, there's no time, no one can go in and help out. And then there's angles left and right for Tandara. So, Mihailovic has been substituted for Serbia. And in comes Milenkovic. That's because the coach knows the set is gone. Just giving her a rest. Boschkovic was stood watching and not engaged in defending. And a 10-point lead now for Brazil. This set is theirs.
nice ball from Boucher. Boscovic, error, no, set point for Brazil. It won't be long before Brazil are 2-1 up. Defiant see quick. <laughs> the set is wrapped up twenty five fourteen. Serbia thrashed in that set. And Brazil now lead 2-1. What a turnaround. Brazil serving to get this fourth set underway, leading 2-1. Serbia fell asleep in the last set, beaten comfortably. And so a few changes. Milinkovic staying in, Mihailovic to the bench, and Busha staying on court. Also staying on Stevanovic. Tonievic, so a whole raft of changes for Serbia. And Milenkovic finds that this, there isn't time to get up to game speed because this is going to happen. Adenizia with a massive block. player who's playing consistently well is Boscovic. <laughs> 
fantastic. But all in vain. Brazil take the point. That was an excellent chase. And then on the transition play, Adenazia hammers it down the middle. Rashic also going through the middle. No chance that time though for a hat-trick of middle attacks. Beatrice shut down. Looking for touches, getting touches. Rashid saying no, Boscovic trying to say no, and then saying yeah, I did. As the coaching staff had a quick look because they were going to call a challenge. Tandara back to serve. Brilliant defence from Natalia. And once again, the setter for Serbia taking that ball at the very highest reach she could muster. And then Rasic puts it away. And Serbia have the lead here in this fourth set. again struggling you get the feeling he's going to go to Boscovic more times than it isn't Grimaric knows that and he expected his blockers to do better 21 kilometers an hour. Oh, sir, probably going to be even harder than that. Or faster. Well kept in play. Brazil are not going away. They've got themselves back level. Quality from Tandara. Twenty-nine year old. Making sure that ball didn't come back, and now it's Beatrice with the serve. Those errors from Boscovic which hurt more than any other. And at the technical timeout, Brazil are two in front.
druga stvar, samo prijem i idealan u zonu dva. I mi ne možemo ništa. Ništa. Znači, nemamo nam. Ajde, bre, malo jebote nogama to da stignemo. Ajde, tu lopu da pošemo precizno. Da li je srenjako, da li je krenjako? Ajde, 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 da li je krenjako? Aj Always difficult for a blocker when you're that close to the antenna. If you don't get the block absolutely perfect, your chances are you're going to get wiped off anything to that side. And it's not easy. The Irish may not be happy, but probably because Natalia was still moving that way instead of posting there and just waiting for the Serbian slide to come into her hands. Italian now have to act as middle blocker. And again, Zia didn't line her up properly. Well, those kind of errors will keep Serbia interested. Well, that's not caught anybody. So Brazil back in front again. Excellent dig from Sue Ellen. Oh, well, a classic. Everybody stood around the handbag and dancing. Everyone in a circle and nobody playing the ball. A magnificent dig in that last rally from Sue Ellen. As that one goes down, Brazil back to two in front. So Ellen's a libro for Ceci in Brazil. In fact, she's the only Ceci player that's in the squad. At the moment, the off-paced attack is working for both teams.
Drusilla getting block out. More frustration. Serbia just can't seem to get themselves into the game, can they? No matter what they do, it's not happening for them. Very, very frustrating. And the players are feeling that on court as well. Tandara. Very nice ball from Busha. But she gets dug by Natalia. Busha might get it again, but no, it's Boscovic. And she does get it off the hands and away this time. For the moment, though, Brazil st still doing enough to stay in front. Serbia need points from the serving line from their block defence. Rashic. Normally reliable from the serving line. Excellent serve from Drusilia Buscia going across Milenkovic. The ball not coming back. And a cushion being plumped up here by Brazil. on the baseline for this Boscovich serve. Second technical timeout. Brazil leading by three points and leading by two sets to one. serve. I don't think I've ever seen anybody with a pre-serve routine like that. And it works. Serbia are under pressure. Don't get the ball back over. Brazil now getting away from Serbia. And just every time that happens, the pressure just increases. And now Serbia called timeout.
Good covering behind Boscovic. Boucher with a bit of work to do. Sue Allen all over it. Well, is it a good idea going to Amanda? The nice, simple set. Then Amanda didn't really attack this. Put it right into the meat of the block instead of going down to five and taking on the Libero. Excellent pass from Natalia. Tandara attacking it through the pipe. Well, they pressed for a challenge, Serbia, realised that there was no point, and then just discarded it. But I don't think they're going to be... I think the water is a challenge, it's going to be it. So it was an incorrect press of the tablet. Milenkovic finds a way through. Just wonder whether Mihailovic is going to come back onto court. At the moment, she's just sat on the bench. Tucked up out of the way. Rashic shuts down Adenizia. Serbia back to within two. A couple of points can quickly change a game. Gumaro is sensing that, and he's now called timeout. Very good dig. And Brazil slow it down, they have a chance to attack, but it's an off ball. Serbia not happy with the handling from Roberta. Oh. That was a great dig from the setter. And a nice volley to an extreme angle by Natalia. Net touch though by Brazil in the block. And Serbia will take the point. And now they're back to within one. Combination of things. Natalia going up and throwing her hands at the ball and then also being hit by Adenazia. Tandara with the block out. Using that speed of the ball to go quickly into the hands. And in fact, Rashic still travelling, helping it on its way out. Natalia with the serve. That's a lovely serve. Milenkovic against two blockers. Natalia with a nice dig at position six. And that's off the block and away. Again, the Serbian hands are up because of the setting of Roberta, believing that should be calling for a double touch. But they're not the referee. Setting is a subje subjective decision as to whether the ball is carried, doubled. And everyone has a different opinion. Nice work. Tinievic catching Brazil's block by surprise and Brazil's defenders.
try as she might, Roberta could not keep her shoulders facing back into court. And back to her teammates. Wonderful play. Serbia using the middle in transition. Tandara, desperate attempt, but couldn't quite bring it back. We are all square. Antonijevic with the serve for Serbia. Brazil looking to side out to take the lead again. That's not going to happen. It's overpassed. Serbia's block. Watching the ball like a hawk. See the movement on that ball. It dropped wickedly. Boscovic throws it down. Serbia in front. Brazil in trouble. Timeout called. Roberta. Well, at this level, normally you don't expect the ball to be passed all the way over to the antenna. And setters do hedge their bets there at two and a half, three even at times. And as soon as it is a bad pass, you're having to run backwards, you're in trouble. And it's going to be a, a setting substitution, although Roberta is being penalised, perhaps not getting into position early enough. Then Macri's coming on. Serbia leading by two. Could be heading into a fifth set decider. Certainly that's what Serbia want to happen. They have to win this set. Tandara. Make sure that Brazil have their side out. The substitutions coming for Brazil. Manovic is coming in through the middle. Amanda going out. Ella Dazir going off. Monique coming in to serve. play and Brazil will take the point and Brazil are back level clever shot to the line Serbia calling timeout Well, 
Monique. Brilliant. Going after Busher, a serve Brazil in front. Surely Monique will go there again. Indeed she does. Better ball in this time for Busher. The middle's run. Rashic puts it down. And Serbia are level, but now. Brazil find themselves in the position where they could side out to have a match point. Milankovic. Oh, it's too far over. Chandara again. Is that off the hands? Yes, it is. There might be a challenge coming. And it touched Milenkovic, did it? Indeed, it did. Milenkovic saying, sorry, guys, touch me. So it is now match ball for Brazil. Tandara with the serve. Boscovic again. Oh, still can't find a way through. That's too tight, surely. It is too tight. It's all over. Goodness me, Brazil are in the final. What a difference a day makes. They were watching China play the Netherlands, and the Netherlands had five match points and couldn't take them. Any one of them would have seen Brazil going home. And as it is, Brazil get into the semis, and now they've beaten Serbia, and they're into the final. This is how they did it. Incredible. It's all smiles now for the coaching staff as they 